G'day everyone and welcome to my Des Trex vlog. Today we're going to check out Munhoyud Sandbar. So make sure you stay tuned, but before you do that, click subscribe below, click on the little bell so you get all my notifications as well, and stay tuned as we check out this unbelievable place here in Negros Oriental. different ways in which you can go to Manhuyut uh, sandbar. One way or another you need to take a boat to go out to the sandbar. Usually you can get a, uh, a package type deal from say Dumaguete and go with a group and therefore it costs you a lot, a lot less per person. I've just jumped on a bus from Dumaguete, got off here in Bartis which takes about an hour and a half on the bus. It only costs like 68 pesos one way on the bus, so that's only like $1.50. Luckily, at the bus terminal in uh, Dumaguete, the, uh, the bus attendant there gave me the phone number of a guy who's met me here at Bias. So I'm now on the tricycle here. And uh, they're gonna take me to uh, Manjud Samba and we're going to do some dolphin watching as well. Um, it only takes about a half day to do that. I've negotiated it down to about 2,500. No normally they'll charge 3,500 for the boat, but I've got them down to 2,500 and uh, we're going to watch the dolphins and go to the sandbar as well. So stay tuned for more. Here we are now, we're almost at Cebu. You can see Cebu over there in the background checking out some dolphins. We just saw a school of them hopping around just before. Gotta hang around here and try and be quiet and see if we can find a few more. So uh, here we are now at uh, Munhuyod Sandbar, but there's no sandbar at the moment because the tide is still in. We're just here with the boys, they're having something to eat. I'm having a beer, I've got a, a Grande San Miguel here, so we're just going to hang around for a little while. They've got the this red horse, they've got some rice of course. So. We're just going to chill here for a little bit as the tide sort of goes out and then hopefully that'll expose the sandbar and uh, we'll be able to get some more spectacular footage um, 
a little bit later on. So until then, tagai. So you can see these places on stilts here. Um, you can actually hire these places. You can stay in one of these places uh, for the night. This one closest to us is actually still under renovation by the look of things. So we're just going to transfer the boat over over here and it won't be long until the sand starts appearing. The water's only about knee deep at the moment so we're going to go over here and just wait a little bit longer. So we've relocated now. Um, the start of the sandbar is just here behind me and it stretches all the way back here uh, to where those uh, cottages are in the water which you can't quite see because of the boat but we're going to get into the water go over to the sandbar here and as we're here the tide is going out so this sandbar will open up and we'll be able to get a really good look at it so stay tuned Okay, so here we've got Chargor, who's the boat captain. We've landed the boat over here. You can yeah. see Nick on the Bales. boat, Nick Bales. Yeah. And there's Nick Edmund, Bales. there's Edmund there. Yeah. All right, so here's our boat. So Nick Bales, if you yeah. ever come to Mount Hollywood <laughs> Sandbar. Eight bucks, uh, 20 bucks. You can fit 20 people. Oh. You have three boats, right? Three boats. Yeah. Three boats? Yeah. yeah. So you can fit 20 people in three boats. You can see the water's not all that deep now. We're only sort of at uh, just about knee level. We're just moving across to the sandbar now. It's gonna be unbelievable. The tide's going out, so the sandbar's getting more and more exposed by the minute. It's amazing how quickly the tides uh, change here. Not just here in Mun Hoyut, but also anywhere in the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> Boat captain. Boat captain here, assistant here. <laughs> One of the things to be wary of that I've spoken earlier on is getting here. Can be, it's not difficult, but you've just got to know what you're doing. You'll have what they call fixes, meaning that someone will organise a boat for you and so forth, uh, but you end up paying a little bit more. So you've just got to be mindful of that. If you're not doing it as part of a, a sort of a package deal or something like that, you may end up paying more than what you need to. So I've got the name and number of the guide that I used or the boat that I used. So make sure you contact him if you're coming down to uh, Man Hoyot Sandbar. Um, they'll definitely look after you. They won't rip you off. He has three boats and he, he can accommodate about 20 people between the three boats. So each boat seats anywhere between sort of six to eight people. I'll put the details below in the description. But have a look at this. This is unbelievable. We were here reasonably early in the day um, and the tide was in. But now the tide has come out. So this sandbar that I'm standing on when we arrived today, you couldn't even see it. But now look, as if you take a look around here and it's exposed, absolutely amazing. And this sandbar is around about 20 kilometers in length, all in all. But we've got this section here, which basically is just there, all the way around to the cottages, which you can see in the background there. This section is about three kilometres, but the entire sandbar itself is around about 20 kilometres. And then over here, we've got Negros Oriental. So when you're coming to Manhuyud, the jump off area for the bus is Ba'is. 
So that's where you need to jump off, bar S. And then just over here, it's a little bit cloudy in the background. The weather's, it's okay. It's temperature's beautiful at the moment. It's not really that hot. Background over here, that's Cebu over there, okay? And you might be able to see on the horizon there where Negros and Cebu sort of come together. That's just down here and there's a little bit of a strait going through there. And, uh, and Siki Hall Island, where we've been for the last few days, is just over the other side there. Um, we did some dolphin watching, as you would have seen on the video a little bit earlier. And uh, yeah, it's a really, really good little day trip if ever you're in Dumaguete. So if you're down this way in central Visayas, it's definitely a place to go and check out. So as I was saying before, the, uh, the tides really come out. You can probably see behind me here, the people in the water. There's guys that must be, you know, quite a few hundred metres away from me. And they're only sort of knee deep or even ankle deep in water. It's incredible to think that when we first got here a few hours ago that uh, you recall in the video earlier on that the water was about halfway up the stilts of these houses and now look the water is absolutely gone and now we're on this massive sandbar which stretches all the way along there where we were just before and over this way as well and not any water here absolutely amazing the power of the ocean and take a look at these places now. It gives you a bit of a better idea of what they look like. And as we look here, the water, there's still a little bit of water here. It's only sort of ankle deep. And then obviously some parts where there's no water at all. So the thing you have to be aware of is the tide. The tide goes out somewhere between around about 3 and 4 p.m. in the afternoon. So if you come in the morning, um, as we saw earlier on, the water is about halfway up the stilts on these cottages, as you can see there before. So yeah, if you do really want to get to experience a sandbar, you've got to make sure you come at low tide, which is in the afternoon. Um, you need to hang around for a little while if you come early to watch the dolphins and then wait for the tide to drop out so that you can catch this uh, spectacular scenery here. So here we are with Neri. Neri's been very gracious in allowing me to come and have a look inside one of these cottages. Yes. Uh, Neri works with the um, LG of Manhoyud. Yes. So he's uh, based down here, so he's one of the locals. Yes. So we'll have a quick look around now at one of these cottages so that you get a good idea of what they look like from the inside. So this is one of the rooms here. Yes. So you can, you can fit, as you can see, you could probably fit, you know, maybe 10 foreigners in here, but 10 persons, but being Filipinos, they can fit a lot more in. Yes. Then we've got the uh, balcony area here. And this gives us a pretty good idea of the views from the balcony, as you can see. Here, doing some cooking. We've got toilets in here. CR in here, yeah. shower in here, yeah. very basic, yes. very basic, but if you come and stay here for one night, yes, it's okay, yeah, yeah. okay yeah. long for one night. I hope you enjoyed the video from a, the latest Des Trex adventure down here in Munhoyud Sandbar. Make sure you stay subscribed, as I mentioned earlier, just click below. Make sure you click the little bell so you get all the notifications and videos come through. And I'll see you on the next adventure.